Okay, so this is session two. I don't have a lot on me on paint supplies, but um, I could get started right away on this guy. Uh, this does take up a lot of paint, but I think it'll be well worth exploring. Uh, color different color um, mixtures the warmer tones in the rock Darker tones in the rock. So there's dark light tones in the rock that I want to capture. And I will need to buy more paint if I'm going to give this a proper coating. Um, but at the moment, I, I don't have it. The first stage for me is uh, getting the sketch made and then second stage defining uh, the colors and the shadow. So we'll need to buy yellow, white, maybe uh, a couple other colors, browns. Um, small tubes will not work for this. Uh, you will need to invest money into large tubes. But shadow underneath it. And then the lighthouse itself will be like white, pure white. Um, I might come into it by some point. Just to finish, at least get one piece made. Uh, see how that will be. The rock could have a variety of tone and color into it. So I don't mind that. Exploring the different kind of mixtures um, this is going to be partially unfinished because I don't have a light blue I don't have white I have blue here but I don't have white so I cannot really explore uh, this on sky. I'll make a black sky maybe night sky I could do like a dark night sky um, and then come into it we'll white I hope I have to buy some white just to uh, get this one the uh, painting done um, large tools are the, are the way to go large palette knife so the area up here is going to be in shadow a little bit here in shadow and then that's going to be all lit up and the sky is going to be lit up I think light blue but I don't have white so I have to mix a light blue um, I'm going to stop this session I have to do a third session What's coming along, and this gave me a light blue river, uh, lake behind it. So, typical kind of scene for a lighthouse I wanted to get across. So, I might buy like a little tablet or something that I could keep all my sketches together. 
but uh, I'm doing it from a sketch right now. So yeah, I'm happy the way this looks for uh, except the colors aren't there yet because I don't have the white. And you will need to be buying large tubes uh, if you want to get um, large paintings done. But uh, I'm not a seller, so I, I can't just sell these paintings online. I could take them down to a store somewhere and try to sell them there, uh, but most likely they charge for space and you don't make your money back, so I stopped doing that. But I do want to get at least one or two paintings made, so I might buy some colors. I need to buy yellow and white. I really try to get some color in here and get a prop proper sky. I could make a night sky. Um, but yeah, we'll stop here. Could probably make it a night sky for now. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm just finishing up my third session uh, with the night sky here. Um, so I do want to lighten this up, but so I don't have a lot of paint on hand. So palette knife uh, will change the painting completely, uh, but it's where I want to take my painting to the next level, so I need to keep this area nice uh, straight. Sometimes the wood behind doesn't give me the option to drag it across it completely straight. And then up here I could uh, blend it out. Then it can get lighter up here, but uh, I can't even do that. To make this area pop the light tone, um, and this area will pop as well with the light tone. So the bottom part could be like a dark blue in the, in the last session, and then a light blue on top. But oils take a quite a long time to dry than acrylic, so it might take a week to dry. Um, so you have to do uh, maybe one painting and then work on another painting. Maybe you have two or three paintings going. Uh, so the edges aren't touched up, nothing's touched up in here, but um, the shape is here. Um, so that's what I want to get across the most. Um, and work with palette knife. Last session. First session is the brush. Um, and then I'll come into the palette knife. This is the river. So I could do little streaks like that with the blue, light blue. It, it, it'll look nice. So I could do something with the sky after. I'm not going to buy supplies right now. Um, so I, I, maybe some small tubes so I could get the the areas filled in but for the most part there's enough paint in here I'm gonna have to buy the big tubes anyway and they're like fifteen dollars plus tax so art's pretty expensive uh, so I, I stopped painting but uh, I found this box on the hand so uh, unless somebody wants a commission then uh, they have to buy the supplies the canvas plus my time uh, and then I could do something for them this way. Uh, it looks nice once it's finished when I buy the extra color. So I can probably go into another session. So this is the second session. Thanks for watching. Whether or not I'll do the third session right away or not, I'll let it dry for a month, come back into it a little bit at a time with the lighter tones on top of it, uh, and then build it out, uh, which I'm going to do uh, probably. Uh, if I get some white, I could touch it up with the lighter tones. But for now, this is the darks established. Thanks for watching.